好。九、八、七、六、五。Greetings to CGTN viewers around the world. This is a special live streaming from Hangzhou, East China's Zhejiang Province. I'm CGTN reporter Wu Bin, and uh, uh, you winner from the November 23rd to November 27th, the 18th China International Animation and Cartoon Festival is being held in Hangzhou. And uh, during this event, it's definitely one of the biggest event of the entire animation industry. And during uh, these four days, uh, a series of events like forums, uh, exhibitions, and uh, contests, and also uh, 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 different uh, uh, tour, uh, tours will be held in the city. And right now, we are at the China Cartoon and uh, Animation Museum. They are uh, holding a uh, comic work exhibition uh, done by uh, teenagers. Uh, we, t today, we are going to explore the museum. And uh, But before that, I would like to show you one of the two uh, works. Uh, so this ex exhibition is mainly uh, focusing on comic works done by primary school students and uh, junior school students. So this is actually one of the very important function of the uh, uh, animation festival, which is to fund talents and fund future masters of the entire industry. And today, in our live streaming, we are going to explore the museum. So first off, I will tell you something, a little bit of, of the museum. Uh, the museum opened to the public in 2021, last year. It's quite new, but the preparation took uh, 10 years. I talked to the curators uh, in the past days, and she said the, uh, the uh, preparation of the museum actually got support from a lot of people. Uh, government and also most importantly older generations of animators and artists they donate a lot of very valuable um, works and uh, uh, pieces uh, of the animation industry so today we are going to explore Chinese animation uh, we are going to explore its past its present and also maybe talk about where it will be headed in the future and so now we are going to enter one of the major exhibitions. And today, I'm very pleased to be joined by Sun Zheng Hao. He is the museum guide of China um, Cartoon and Museum uh, and Animation Museum. So first of all, Zheng Hao, please say hello to our audience around the world. Hello. It's my pressure, uh, pleasure to be here. Mm -hmm. So before we start, I noticed you have a very special badge here. Yes. So can you tell us something about it? Is it related to the museum? Yes, this is the mascot of our museum. So it's called Yun Xiao Man. Uh -huh. So why mm -hmm. is it called Yun Xiao? Yun Xiao Man, I guess it's, it's, the name comes from cloud, right? The first yes. character is cloud. Yes, so actually, if you can see it, her eyes, and you see that its shape is like an auspicious cloud. Yes. And, and uh, I, I, it is a little bit similar, like the mascot of uh, the Asian games. So are they related? Or? Yes, you're totally right. Actually, it came from the same designer, uh, like the um, Asian games mascot. Okay. So the designer also designed the mascot for our museum. Mm -hmm. So today, uh, you are our tour guide of the mm -hmm. museum. So what are we going to explore in yes. today's journey? So actually, we, our museum consists of four floors, and each floor consists of a major exhibition hall. Now we're standing on the second floor, and you can see from the title, an, an animation and cartoon past. So our journey, we're going to be a, in a historical line. We're going to ex, uh, explore from the very ancient times to the present. Like, Go inside and okay. see what, what, what going to be supposed to now. You see children are playing uh, different kinds of gadgets. Yes. They are actually uh, related to the early creation of movies, right? So mm -hmm. because, yes. because animation movies, they are sort of like a, in the same family. Yes, actually, the, I think, personally, it's essentially the same thing. Mm -hmm. actually, um, it's a, uh, actually based on the same biological basis, yes. and like we can see here. Uh, the, it's related to the to the same British man. This in 1824, the British Roger 
discovered a phenomenon. It's called visual persistence. So what is visual persistence? It's very simple. When you look at something this and you close your eyes quickly, it won't disappear just uh, instantly. It will remain for a very short while. So this frame remains in our eyes, and this is the basis for us to enjoy these animations and films. Mm -hmm. And just now, the gadgets children are playing are actually help them to understand this process, right? Yes. So it's sort of like a, they learn. It's a learning experience of them in the mm -hmm. museum, right? So, uh, so here, uh, so I guess this exhibition hall is really about the. Uh, early histories of uh, animation and, and also the entire movie history. So yes. now we are entering another exhibition hall. I think it, it, it says start and search. So this is at the start of Chinese animation. Yes, right? yes. So our animation industry actually started in a very early stage. And if you might say we are the very early country to start animation industry in Asia. And the Jap actually the very popular uh, animation country Japan it started a little bit later than us mm -hmm. so this all thanks to the pioneers of our animation masters so who are the pioneers I've noticed that there are some statues so yes. can you tell us some of the most famous ones okay so actually they're not just one pioneers but I can only point out the one statue here actually this this uh, Mr. One he he has other, and, uh, other three brothers, and they're called the One Brothers. They are uh, actually the pioneers and also laid the foundation for Chinese animation industry. So you can see he's handing a book and uh, uh, drawing something. Actually, um, they are uh, they born in the late uh, Qing Dynasty, but they, it was a time of change. Some foreign films, animations came uh, came into uh, came to our uh, China, and they was uh, impressed, or I should say, shocked by those works, and they try to make the animations of our own. Mm -hmm. So these uh, these uh, I know I've did some a bit mm. of uh, research myself. So the first uh, uh, animation of China is born was born in 1922. Yes. It's actually a, a ten minute commercial ad. Yes. Uh, but it's, uh, some 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 scholars argue that it may not represent the start of the uh, of the animation mm. industry. But uh, most people believe that this is the beginning in 1922. So from 1922 to 2022, this year marks the 100 year anniversary of. Uh, Chinese animation. I'm here. Just now you mentioned that they are inspired by foreign films, I guess. Yes. America. Yes. The US, they uh, lead in the film industry nationally, mm. uh, of, in, the, in the animation industry. So, yes. for example, here our audience, you see that this is a uh, animated uh, work from 1934 uh, produced by the One Brothers. And you see the character here. They are very, very similar to the early works of Disney yes. uh, characters, right? Yes. So, for example, this one, I've, I've, it's very similar. Mm. So they are actually inspired by... By like works Disney. of Disney. Yeah. Yeah. For example, our audience can see a little bit of here. It's uh, apart from, uh, uh, from the uh, from the work of the One Brothers. So you can see the resemblance. Yes. So this actually is during the Republic of China, this period. So our, the masters and artists at that time created a lot of uh, works that laid the foundation for the later creations. But it was not a very long, good time for them because later the war broke out. That is anti-Japanese war. So these artists actually invest, uh, devoted themselves to this career. So they created a lot of animations for the propaganda of this war. But it is not just the propaganda, not only the propaganda. They also created a very a phenomenal work. Yeah, this one is this. quite famous. Uh, it, 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 it is born in 1941. Yes. And English came up with called Princess Iron Fan, the yes. story from Journey to the West, one of the most popular uh, stories uh, of China. Mm. So, so tell, can you tell us something about this uh, story behind the, uh, behind the uh, Princess Iron Fan? Sure. 
Actually, you can see from its state, it was it was created during the war, and it was a hard time for them because when this uh, when the intruders occupied Shanghai, they have nowhere to uh, to to do their work peacefully, but they still achieve it, and. Uh, um, this story was picked out from the journey to the West, and this story, this novel, means a lot to the Wan brothers. When they were very young, their mothers tell them this traditional Chinese uh, mythology and these stories to them. So this one, Journey to the West, left a deep mark inside their heart. And uh, later, in 1941, they made this film, and uh, they made this film. Actually, this is not just the first uh, sound animated feature film in Chinese history, but also the first one in Asia. Wow, that's that's impressive. That's yes. quite impressive. All right, let's continue our journey. And uh, so, these are the very early works of uh, Chinese animation. And uh, but we are we not born in that period. So yes. Can you tell us when you were a child, which one is your favorite? I mean, uh, mm -hmm. cartoon works uh, produced by in, in China because we are actually born yes. in, a, in a era of uh, more choices. Yes. So actually, uh, during my childhood, uh, during my childhood, I have the I'm very lucky enough to enjoy some very classic uh, Chinese animations like uh, Mr. Black. Or you can call him Hei Mao Jin Zhang. Yes, and, there, uh, and there's another animation was, which was adapted from a, uh, a modern a modern fairy tale. It was Shu Ke and Bei Tang. Well, so the two animated works you just mentioned is all produced by the famous Shanghai Mei Shu Dian Zhi Pian Chang, yes. Shanghai Animation Film Studio. Mm. So now we are entering the second part of this uh, 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 of this exhibition. So. In the beginning, uh, the, the, the founding of People's Republic of China actually started another chapter of Chinese animation because in 1957, just now, the Shanghai Animation Film Studio uh, was established. And that was the first animation studio yes. in China and the whole country's animators and artists are gathered here. So they created a lot of classic and brilliant works and yes. uh, won reputations internationally. Yes. So. Here we can see that when this when this studio was not found yet, there is still a, t a part, a team in the Shanghai Film Studio. But during this period, this artist, or we can say, call them masters now, they created a lot of classic works, like this one, "Why the Crow is Black." It was it won prize in Italy in 1956. I uh, yes, 1966. But there's a little story behind it. Um, when those foreign juries, uh, they, when they see the, saw this film, they saw they thought it was the Soviet animation. It was not China uh, instead of China. So this left a very uh, and this left a uh, uh, very deep memory to our Chinese artists. So they came up with a slogan. Yes, mm -hmm. here so exploring the national style. Yes. Mm -hmm. So actually. Uh, this slogan, uh, because when we, when we, uh, what we are, uh, you know, uh, remember the most about this period, that their animated works, yes. uh, a lot of them are inspired by traditional Chinese cultures. For example, yes. paper cuts, uh, yes. puppets. Yes. So they are all related to this theme. Yes. Uh, exploring the national style. Yes. So actually. You in the same year, under this slogan, with this, the inspiration of this slogan, they created a very important work. Uh, it's this one, the proud general. The proud general. Yes, as you can see from the poster, this general, actually, he is very in the Chinese traditional style. Like uh, his face is in the uh, in the style of Beijing opera, mm. and not just the actually not the character. Not only the character designs, but also the background and the music, they're all inspired by our traditional Beijing opera. Yes. And uh, here, the, the, in this, this part, there are different uh, exhibitions of puppets yes. and comic books. Yes. And here, I've noticed uh, a, a statue. Uh, 
because uh, in the early uh, period of uh, Chinese animation, we see a different uh, 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 the one brothers. There are a yes. lot of people, the statues there, but here we just see one. So tell us something about him. He must be very important to the history of Chinese. Yes, animation. true. So this one is Mr. Te Wei. He is the first uh, president of the Shanghai Animation Film Studio, and also the team of the uh, of its former uh, group. So actually, under his slogan and uh, commands, these artists do their creations and uh, and their works very diligent and uh, with their inspiration. So left uh, tons of classic uh, works for us. And uh, so, uh, in the next uh, several decades, I know Shanghai Animation uh, Film Studio they created hundreds of classic works. So yes. I cannot wait to see because we are behind us is a collection, yes, a, a collection of presentation of the different classic works and also how they make it uh, during that time. For example, here the puppets animation because it's quite interesting. I've never heard of this. Uh, cartoon before it's called Princess Peacock. Yes. So can you tell us something because uh, it's because you see the uh, the, the images of uh, Princess Peacock. It's uh, related to the minority groups of uh, of China. Yes. Is that right? Yes. It came from the folk story of Dai ethnic group. Yes. Right. So actually, it's a story between the princess and the. A princess and uh, uh, and a prince. Uh, yes, the oh, prince. That's the forever theme of all <laughs> yes. the cartoons. It's also a, a story of a princess and a the prince. The theme of humankind. So actually, we he this is a uh, a scene uh, that we try to uh, try to re uh, uh, rebuild uh, during their uh, uh, their their pro process. So actually. Though we call it puppetry animation, it's it's essentially the stop motion animation. So you move these puppets little by little, and you shoot them frame by frame, and you continually play those frames. You got this fluent animation. Yes. Right. Isn't that, it beautiful? And our children are here to see the uh, see the animation here because it must be very new to you. This is new to me. This is. Must be new to him as well. <laughs> All right, let's yes. continue our journey here. And this part is uh, because I've seen the quite famous name. Yes. That, that 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 is a very famous name in the entire Chinese animation history. I've known I've known it. It's called Havoc in Heaven, Da Nao Tian Gong, and it's also a, a story of the of Monkey King uh, from Journey to the West. Yes. So uh, tell us something about this section because we've seen a huge gi uh, gigantic gadgets here. So yes. what do they do, and do we have any valuable uh, you know? piece of uh, collections in here. Of course. So actually, we are here standing in this uh, most classical uh, animation type here, hand-drawn animation. And uh, the gadgets you see here is the multi-plane uh, camera. Actually, uh, during the past century, the 100 years, many, uh, all the hand-drawn uh, animation were created on the same type, uh, like this machine. Is it the, the original piece or it's a replica? Yes, it's uh, the original one came from Shanghai Animation Film Studio. It's the original one? Yes, many wow. classic pieces were created on this stage. Wow, yes. that's, I can picture the older generation of animators, they are, they are, they are here, you know, yes. uh, you can see creating this, this brilliant work. Scars of time. <laughs> That's 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 really valuable. Yes. Piece in here. So and in here I've seen a table and also a face mask. So uh, is this the table of the uh, of the older generation of animators? They created. Uh, how how did they how how did they uh, you know create on the table? Can you tell us something about? Yes. It? Actually, this is the uh, working desk for the painters, uh, or you can say the drawers, those masters. And uh, you can see there is a light panel on that desk, right? Mm -hmm. So when they draw frames or you say those uh, draw, uh, drawings, they draw things on the light uh, panel and uh, 
actually, there's not just one picture. They have to lay several,、uh, two or three more, more frames on that panel so that they can compare with the former,、uh, previous frame so that they can draw the next move. And the, there, they have a mirror、yes. next to the face mask. So, what's the function of the mirror? Oh. So actually, our artists, though they draw those、uh, those characters in fantasy, but they have to、uh, refer to something in real to draw these characters vividly. The, their expressions. Yes,、right? they make、uh, they make expressions and make moves to as the reference for their drawings. So now, after your explanation, I understand why Monkey King in this film is that vivid. Yes. Because because they have a they ha, they have they have to, to、uh, create this image, you know, in the mirror. They look at themselves and you create the monkeys. Yes. <laughs> so this is actually called celluloid、uh, animations,、mm-hmm. uh, in in another way.、Okay. So here we have very tr- treasurable、uh, exhibits here. This is actually the original celluloid sheet of、uh, Havoc in Heaven. It is the original it, one. Yes, original one. It was. It, it only left us very few of them, and we have one in here. If you can、uh, see, you can observe it closely. You can see that it has several layers. That the、right. Monkey King is in the first layer. I'll ask my cameraman to、yes. uh, shoot on the side to see whether the audience can see the the different layers of the celluloid、yes. uh, sheet. It has shadows、uh, on on、right. that background. Yeah, that's、yes. quite valuable. And because this is hand drawing,、uh, just now with、uh, we, your introduction to the、uh, to the、uh, to the shooting machines there. So how many celluloid sheets、uh, do they have to、uh, produce to make? Uh, for example, one minute film.、Uh, if one minute film, uh, we, uh, if you call celluloid, is not、uh, my, I may not be able to precisely to count them. But if you say that one minute, one minute,、uh, a second will cost about twenty-four frames. All、oh, right,、yes. that's the same, the same. same. Uh, uh, as、uh, those in movies. So, how many? Do you know how many celluloid、uh, sheets do they produce for the entire movie? It's about more than fifteen, fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. Yes. Well, that's、uh, a lot of work in the past, and uh, the pr-、uh, production process of this film took how many years? Uh, uh, actually, it was、uh, it was、uh, published in. 1970, 1980s, like, but it was made in the 1960s. Yes, so it cost some,、uh, several years to make them. Right. So,、uh, our audience, if you have any chance to,、uh, if you are interested, you have to watch the Havoc in Heaven. And、uh, after we tell the stories behind it, as the story of celluloid sheet, you may、uh, have a little bit、uh, deeper understanding. Of this animated feature, it's actually quite long. It's 120 minutes. It, it's divided to two,、uh, to the,、uh, two episodes. Yes. Right.、Uh, 120 minutes long. It's quite precious. And even if you watch it today, you are、yes. you will still be impressed by this animated feature. Yes.、Uh, you have to watch it. And, and now it's available on almost every platform because it's already,、uh, mm. you know, past the.、Uh, The protection of、uh, intellectual,、uh, intellectual property.、Yes. We also、rights. hope these classic works can be、uh, can be shown to everyone. Yeah, shared to everyone.、Yes. Everyone can see the.、Uh, it's real. See the uh, uh, how you know the process of making this film. It's it just、uh, made me speechless when, when I、uh, actually see the、yes. shooting camera, the celluloids. It took a lot of work of these artists. Yeah. So this is hand drawing uh, uh, animations, and this is just this is just a one yes. part yes. of our、uh, of different、uh, of our art forms.、Mm-hmm. And here I've seen、uh, quite interesting. I've, I, I've I'm really into this the paper, paper cut animation. <laughs> yes. Actually,、uh, you can see from its name that this type of animation came、uh, was inspired by a, a traditional Chinese. Folk art, which yeah, is paper, paper cutting, cut. yes, and you and this, can see this is something we have. This is the this, this is yes, original, yeah, original,、uh, unique. 
So you can see this is the paper cutting uh, works here. And so actually this is the traditional form. Yeah. Yes. And if you, uh, if you think, uh, if you try to imagine that you cannot make these things move right, mm -hmm. uh, they, can't, they can't move, they just stand here. And so those masters came up with a solution to make them move so that they can, uh, they can make animations for them. Uh, it's like the upper row here. So they actually also uh, referred to another ch traditional Chinese four card. It's called uh, um, uh, shadow puppetry. Yeah, shadow puppetry in Chinese is called uh, pi yin si. Uh, pi yin si. And uh, they, cut, they, they made these bodies and limbs uh, 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 separately. And they connect the connect these parts, uh, connect this part the, into the the, 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 the single uh, puppetry, so that they can move and uh, film it in the way like a stop motion animation. And it's quite interesting that in different forms we all find the stories in uh, Journey to the West because it's uh, yes. it's it's quite adaptive to all kinds of art forms. Actually, the directors of these two works are. Uh, all, are all the one brothers. All the one brothers. Yes. Uh, the, this film, the Pixie Eat What Eats What, Ma what, what Melon, is actually the second brother uh, of the, the one brothers. Yes, and it's called Wan Gu Chan. And this one, Harvard, Harvard in Heaven, uh, Heaven, its director is the big brother. Is the big brother, Wan Lan. Yes. Right. So just like I said, they, uh, they, this journey to rest has left a very deep mark inside their uh, spirit, I could say. And here is also, I, 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 we have to introduce a little bit of this, because this is uh, also very Chinese style, because yes. this, this is called uh, ink animation. Yes, in, uh, what, what ink animation? So actually the masters, the masters at that time, they have, long, they have try, always tried to do something unique uh, with our na nationality uh, characteristic, so they came, they came up with an idea: Why can we make these uh, water in the tra tra traditional Chinese paintings move, make them more vividly? So they try. So they try to. They made a lot of trying and and experiments. So they ca finally came up with a solution, and they made this film. Where is Mama? Where is Mama? Yes. Or, or I think the literal translation in Chinese is Xiang Hedo Zhang. The literal translation yes. is tadpole. Uh, little tadpole finds their mom. Yes. So I, I still remember because I was born in the 1990s and this uh, uh, film is created in the 1960s. If I, if I'm not. Yes, it's very. Although 30, you see the 30 years, but still when I first see the film, I got goosebumps because mm. it's quite beautiful. Just like you said, yes. the Chinese painting, traditional Chinese ink painting, they move on yes. the big screen. It's just a piece of art. Uh, yes, but actually, though they have come up with a solution, they still keep it a secret. Yes. What do you mean by a secret? So you mean the they, uh, they do not uh, they do not they do not tell us how did they, they how they made this animation. Oh, it's, just, it's still a secret. Yes, it's, no one knows. Yes, it's the actually I would say the most one of the most valuable treasures for the studio. Wow. That's why, because I talked to the uh, current president of Shanghai mm. Animation Film Studio, and the, she said uh, that uh, they will create another uh, ink uh, uh, film next year, maybe released oh, really? next year. So uh, now, after your explanation, I know why. Huh. I know why they kept it a secret because yes. they don't want other people to know. It. <laughs> it's also very hard to make. make yes. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, very costly. All right, let's uh, continue because we still have got a whole uh, lot of uh, things to show to our audience uh, in the exhibition afterwards. So now I see uh, here, it, it seems like you uh, cre recreate the uh, environment of <laughs> what's like in the 1980s, right? Yes. So here, we, so here with some parents may Recall their memories, mm -hmm. their childhood. Actually, yeah, in the 1980s, uh, some streets in the southern China is just li looked like this. If the people want to see some uh, comics or uh, magazines, they can buy or acquire them through these uh, uh, these uh, stores or uh, 
Ah, yes. I like this. Uh, you can see many newspapers here. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I guess uh, those who, uh, those born in 1980s, like not my parents. <laughs> <laughs> my parents were in the 1970s, but uh, they still they recall their memories. Yes. Uh, in this section, because the children nowadays, they born, yeah. especially it's, those born after uh, 2000s, they probably, you know, this is a, a little bit strange. Yes, uh, it's common experience for yeah. that generation. But it's a, it's, it's a memory of that generation, I yeah. guess. So this animation museum is actually not only for children. Yes, <laughs> adults we, of we, different age groups will find their. Yes, we hope here. that all these people, no matter young or old, they can enjoy themselves themselves and record their memories mm -hmm. to enjoy their life. Mm -hmm. And yes. And here I see this uh, little boy is is. Looking at comic books, but yes. uh, it seems it, it, it's it's not real comic books, if I'm right. right? Yes, uh, it has actually a very special uh, guard, uh, uh, special gadgets here. If you put your hands up here and you flip this page, turn this page, you, you can just uh, turn it over. But if yeah. you turn the real page, you actually oh. change to another book. There is a real page. Yes, there is. Oh, this! If you ch change the real page, oh, the you change it to another one. one. Yes. Wow, that's how the latest technology is helping. <laughs> so actually, the comics book here are, uh, are the contents we exhibits uh, exhibits here. Uh, we try. We we want to make these uh, to let the audiences to be able to enjoy the contents of the, uh, the things here instead of being locked inside these uh, shelves. All right, for those who just joined us, this is a CGTN special live streaming in Hangzhou, East China's uh, Zhejiang province, and we are uh, touring the China Animation, uh, Cartoon and Animation Museum. What you, uh, just now we explored China's history, uh, animation history from 1922 to 1967, 70s, and, uh, uh, I talked to an expert yesterday because he believed that uh, Chinese animation history in the past, in the, in the uh, 19, uh, in the last century, actually has two, uh, you know, peak times, prime times. One is in the 1960s, another yes. one is in the 1980s, and yes. that's actually related to the uh, reform and opening up policy. Because when the country opens to the uh, to to the world, the animation market is also opening. And uh, we've, uh, we have more, the audience have more choices like those from the US, from Japan. They created animated series because in the past, in the 1960s, well, like Havoc in Heaven, like Xiao Ge Dou Zhang Mama, Ted Po Fan, their mother, they yes. are all just one or two episodes. Yes. They are not a series. And yes. then we have uh, the concept of creating series. And then yes. in the 1980s, we created many, many uh, classic yes. uh, Chinese animated series. It's actually also related to the improvement of our living uh, of our living condition. Uh, the TV, the television, makes their way into everyone's home, so that we can enjoy those animations. Right. Right. Uh, by television, because you, I still remember the time when uh, when I after uh, uh, you know back to school that I will uh, sit in front of the. Uh, television. And yes. I, I remember 6:30, 大风车。<laughs> uh, I, I, six six o'clock in the afternoon, or 6:30, 大风车。Um, they will broadcast the different kinds of t uh, animated series, both from China and also other. Countries. I believe it was. Uh Eight, uh, six o'clock p.m. Six o'clock p.m. Right. So, yes. Oh, right. Exactly. Five thirty is Dong Hua Cheng. Yes. Uh, the Cartoon City, and the yes. six uh, uh, six p.m. is Da uh, Feng Chua every yes. day. And that's that would be the happiest one hour of the entire day for for us. Yes, good old days. <laughs> and here, uh, in this section. Uh, there we see different kinds of animated series. They are uh, sort of like a like a like a time, uh, you know, uh, sort of like a river. They are presenting this uh, according to their their, their different cre uh, year of creation. And uh, so, uh, uh, to, uh, 
so in this section, so is there any uh, special collections that you would like to present to our audience? Oh, yes. Actually, we have invented uh, invented those uh, masters artists in studio, uh, in Shanghai Animation Film Studios for a uh, lot of time. So actually, they donate many uh, many uh, many precious uh, records to our museum. As well. Uh, for instance, this one is actually the storyboard uh, of this of this short animation film, Xue Hai. Yes, uh, that's... a snow kid. Um, uh, it's, uh, it is not a copy or juridical. It's, it's, it's the real original, original one. So and you can only enjoy them uh, in uh, in our museum. So, right, so I strongly suggest you to come to our museum and enjoy this absolutely. reverse really of history. That, uh, that uh, everyone could have a chance to actually come to the museum for a visit. You yes. will not regret the journey. <laughs> yes. And here I've seen, uh, it seems like it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a movie theater. You create a movie theater here. Yes. Actually a, um, actually a very special theater because it can move everywhere. It moves with a, a special uh, um, Peop, uh, a special person that carry the the projector everywhere and uh, and uh, show the films for people and whenever the people uh, whenever the people or uh, civilians see they're coming they're going to prepare their little uh, 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 their things here and uh, wait for the movie start. Right. So this is quite. Uh, it's also one of my favorite cartoons. It's called Hou Zi Lao Yue. It's, yes. uh, it was created in the 19, uh, 1981, I believe. Mm -hmm. But anyway, in the 1980s, it's Hou Zi Lao Yue. You see that although it's created in the 1980s, children nowadays, they are still into this. Yes. That's the power of those classics. Yes. And probably they will inspire the next generations of masters. Right? Yes. And those uh, stories, uh, they actually te taught a lot of things. A lot of good uh, virtues, for example, kindness, mm. uh, bravery. You know, so that's I think the power of cartoons yes. here. And uh, here, uh, this one is very special and also a yes. very important work in the Chinese animation history. It's called Lotus Lantern. Mm. So, can you tell us something about it? About this? Yes, actually, the Lotus Lantern is the last uh, uh, animation feature film. Uh, film. Uh, of Shanghai, anima uh, Shanghai Animation Film Studio in the 20th century. Right. Yes. So they made some very broad, bold steps for this film. Uh, firstly, they invented, uh, they invited many famous people to dub for these actors. And also singers. Yes, too. singers like Liu Huan and yeah. Zhang Xingzhe. And yes. also Coco Li. Yes. Uh, th th that's yes. very famous and they left, uh, theme song. they left three very classic songs yeah. for us. Yes, and uh, actually, they it uh, it can be s s uh, regarded as some imitations. Uh, they imit they imitate the way uh, Hollywood and Disney make films. So this is a very broad trying steps. But actually, the blender that feel quite well because if you look at the story structure, it's sort of like a, the, those uh, Disney uh, yes. animations of the Holly from the Hollywood. But the core of this uh, of the Lotus Lantern is still quite Chinese. It's based on Chinese mythology and uh, the core is, is uh, it, because when you when you look at this movie you do not feel foreign. Although yes. the structure is sort of like, uh, yes. like there. So when we when we see this film you can you can say that the motions leaking from this, uh, these characters and stories exactly they're, they're totally ch in Chinese uh -huh. you can't do any other thing. And here, my cameraman come. I will show our audience. This is not one of my favorite. This is my favorite. <laughs> I yeah. watched it over and over again. Even uh, even nowadays, I sometimes will watch this. This is called Calabash Brothers. Uh, it's uh, one of the animated series created in the 1980s, and also paper cut yes. um, uh, animations. Well, you it's, can see the pictures, uh, photos here. Actually, they are the, the, the paper puppetry of the Calabash brothers. Yes. 
and the Calabash brothers because you, we see that it's basically a story of the good fights the evil. Yes, <laughs> the brothers. They have, yeah, yes. and they have seven Calabash brothers. Each represents, they have different skills and each represent mm -hmm. a, a how, how should I put this, it represents a virtue. For example, the first, uh, the, the, the older brother represents bravery. But anyway, yes. it's, uh, they teach children about, you know, the justice will yes, prevail. Yes. Actually, they have a very original version of this uh, of this story. It was uh, came from a very uh, a Chinese uh, folk folk story uh, mythology. Yes, it's called uh, was Ten Brothers. Ten Brothers. Yes, I, d I did not know that. Yes, this was originally original ten was Ten Brothers. Each okay, one has marvelous uh, tech, tech skills. Skills, but uh, because of some. Uh, Cost uh, something. They all they can only cut them into seven. All right. The, all yes. right. So originally they have ten brothers. Yes. I, I, that's that's new to me. All right. So this is your favorite. I and know. Yes. Just now you said this, Mr. Black yes. in Chinese, Hei Mao Yes. But uh, it's very. It's a shame that only uh, it only has five episodes. It only has five episodes. Yes. But I feel it's quite long. It, uh, I I think it's you <laughs> Many know. Many people say that. Uh huh. Yes, many people say that. So, um, w when we were a child, this, uh, this animation was, was uh, broadcast by the television over and over again. So, it's, it feels like it was so long that it would never end. But actually, it only had five episodes. We can never see the endings of Mr. Black. And behind us, we see something quite interesting. I believe that's the special design of, yes. uh, of the museum, right? So we would see that the whole TV Actually, this is the tower of uh, television. And if you look, observe closely, you can see this is all, all the type uh, uh, televisions. Mm -hmm. uh, they need some, string, uh, some uh, strings to receive the signal. It says, so oops, uh, the signal is bad. Please do something to change the signal. Yes, we can adjust this uh, button and rotate it into the right position so that we can see the screen clearly. Right. Yes. Oh, it actually, colors. Yes. It actually the very common uh, uh, op operations in Chinese homes at that time. So many families, they need to adjust this button to make this screen uh, even clear. I, believe, I, I remember that's my, uh, the first TV uh, in my house is the, those type. Yes. Yeah. So this is the entire TV wall. So, and if you take a uh, look around at this section, uh, I, would, I would like to ask my cameraman to take a, a, a look around this section. We've seen a lot of TVs. Is that TVs or windows? Or what, 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 what are those? Actually, we try to create a, uh, a, an image for this, for this uh, period or this era that the television made their way into families and everyone can enjoy the animations in their home. So when you look up, like uh, those, those buildings and uh, those families, they open, their, uh, they open up their television and enjoy the animation. It's like you are, you're walking on the street. Yeah. Yes. And we see all the works in the past yes. century here. And you can feel, feel the prosperity of the Chinese animation at that time. Absolutely. And now, we can, so I believe this is uh, uh, the end of this area, and we are talking about the uh, glorious past yes. from, uh, from 19, uh, 1950s to the 1980s. And uh, so what about the present? So I think uh, next we are going to another floor to yes. explore the, the, the present development of this anim of animation industry, right? Yes. Now we're going to uh, the third, third floor and we're going to see what is happening in Chinese animation today. And I've noticed that the surroundings of this uh, museum is also quite special. We see the classic uh, cartoon characters of, yes. of different generations. Can you something about this? Yes, actually, if uh, if you uh, can, uh, if you see um, our back, this is this giant animation screen is actually a part of our museum structure, and uh, we put these classical characters 
on the screen to uh, actually to recall people's memories. We, we hope them that when they came into this uh, museum, they can enjoy from their uh, childhood. And now we are uh, at the third floor, and we are in front of the section called uh, cartoon, uh, Animation Cartoon Today, which means the present. We are going to explore the present development of yes. this industry. Let's go inside. So a little bit of the uh, industry, because uh, in the uh, 1990s, with the introduction of computer animated uh, films, actually the the technology changed everything. The past, the, the hand drawing style, the, the the animation cannot meet the huge development of uh, the industry. Cannot yes. meet the market. So the country decided to promote the entire industry. You know, both the technology and also talents, which means, uh, you know, those who know how to. Uh, uh, how to write, how to uh, paint and hand, and draw uh, paintings on, uh, in computers. So from 2004, the country uh, established this uh, policy uh, to support the industry and also with huge subsidies. But uh, uh, to be honest, uh, for the next 10 years or so, the country is, uh, the, the industry is facing criticism actually yes. of lacking of presentable works. We have a lot of uh, works each year actually uh, the, the production output uh, ranked first in the world, but we do not have, um, you know, m many presentable works like, Some you know, masterpiece or yeah, masterpiece. high quality works. Yeah, exactly. So, can you tell us something about, so, do, you know, do you know the reason behind it or? Do... I think uh, it's a, an unavoidable stage, uh, you, you see, we need to develop our industry, mm -hmm. but you have to do it step by step. So actually, in 2004, we carry out this policy as a start for our industry, but we have a long way to go. This chaos is just uh, uh, just a period, uh, just periodically phenomenal. Exactly, because I talked to a professor uh, yesterday and uh, he actually said, because the 2000s are a completely different era with, uh, uh, of, uh, compared to the past because of the technology. So actually our animation industry starts from uh, scratch, starts from zero, so it takes time. And also uh, uh, with the preferential policies, with the huge subsidies, uh, it's sort of like funding gold in sands. So at last there will be gold. Uh, yes. you know. But we need time. We need time. Yes. But actually, we've seen some go really good works in recent years. Mm. For example, in 2005, the Da uh, Sheng uh, like yes. uh, Hero is back. Bunky King Hero is back. That yes. is a brilliant work. Yes. And uh, and the box office, uh, re the box the box office of that film, is a uh, tops that year's charts. Yes, yeah. it left a historical record. Yeah. So this wall. Mm -hmm. It's quite interesting because a lot of uh, I've seen all the bubbles. So, so what's the so can we you know interact with them or? Yes, it is an interactive uh, wall. So you put your hands on these bubbles and you would just uh, expand. Oh, sorry, maybe this just goes something wrong with it. Um, we can try the next one. Um, Yes. Wow. If you put your hands on these bubbles, they, the bubbles will, will expand and show the introduction of these works. And it's sort of like magic. I think the children will be <laughs> crazy about it, like this. Yes. So, actually, these are some popular works uh, today. Yeah, this <laughs> big Actually, we have three, we have three walls. Uh, each of the walls represents a different uh, catalog of the animation industry because mm -hmm. today's and today's industry is not just animation works it also consists of comics uh, animation and games so we we made the, the introduction of the of them uh, separately and you can interact with this walls and try and you can find try to find these are comics if i'm right yes you can try to find uh, to to looking for the your favorite works here. Right, absolutely. That's quite interesting. Yes. These are works of comics, and here I've 
found. So this is this is also one of my favorite. This is a Ja Yu Bian Xing Jing Gang. It's not that Ja. Ja. It's not the animated series, but it's another one. It's Ja Yu Bian Xing Jing Gang. A very special one. What about this wall? Uh, yeah. Game? Games. This wall of games. So some popular games uh, show here. Uh, you can also put your hands here. Ah, uh, yeah. It is going to show the introduction. Mm -hmm. So that's another, also another industry that is that, that is closely related to the animation industry. Yes, actually, it's a relatively new industry, mm -hmm. but it has the actually essentially the same content creations like in the animation and comics. I would say that it is another form of these uh, works. So also uh, represent presents these works. Mm -hmm. And do we have any, uh, because when children, they go to the museum, I believe they will, uh, they want to, they do not want to be taught, you know, with, the, with all the histories, they want to play with, you know, interact with yes. different kinds. So do we have any other interactive uh, gadgets or equipments to tell, to tell them, uh, you know, to, have, to let them have fun, but at the same time, they will learn something from it? Oh, yes. Absolutely. So we have many interactive uh, 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 gadgets here. Uh, actually, in this section and the next se the next sections, we're going to have a lot of things to uh, experience, to explore, for, especially for kids. The, I have seen many kids. They came here and they enjoy they enjoy this these screens, just like this one. How how do we interact with this one? Uh, so you can. Oh, this is cosplay. So you. Yes. So you can just stand here, and the characters inside this screen will just imitate your uh, your actions and post right. postures. So can yes. we choose different characters? Oh yes. Yeah, so you just put your hands here, and oh. you're going to change. Right. Yes. So if you like uh, some handsome guys, you can just choose this one. Or you like a beautiful girl, uh, no problem. We just change it back. All right, that's that's interesting. Yes. So let me have a try. Okay. Oh, you see that I I'm I'm I, as I move, the character on the screen also moves. Yes. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hello to our audience. Hello to our audience from uh, around the world. So this is me, and this is my cartoon image. Where where are you? Yes. So and this is my cartoon image. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> not only this, we also have a concert, but in virtual style. Here. This is a virtual concert. So you can see these characters. Actually, there are singers you know, on the platform Bilibili, and you can, uh, you, and you can uh, uh, see them. And this, actually, the scene he, we have here came from a very traditional folk art in Zhejiang province. And uh, the singers, they, they, they uh, act in a virtual way. We have this hologram projection here. Uh, yes. Projector here. The animation industry is also because the uh, virtual reality is sort of like the latest the technology, and also yes. VR, AI. So they are also uh, used in the animation industry to yes. to, to create more uh, yes. brilliant works. So some so some of uh, some people believe that it might be the future of our animation industry. Yeah. You see that with the paper uh, with the paper created, we have these marvelous uh, comics. And uh, here, this sec uh, from, from this section, we're going to learn something about the creations of comics and animations. Yes. So this, uh, you can see all of these uh, uh, in, uh, uh, animation, uh, animation pages that you can see from, the, uh, from your comic books or something. So the artists will begin with the story. So they need to create a script for the comics. And then they need to draw the storyboard, storyboard for, for the comics. And then they're going to draw the lines and fill the colors. And in the end, the comics will be completed for people to enjoy. And here we're standing, uh, we're standing in the animation section. Uh, 
has. And uh, actually this one, the, the example animation we present here is a very famous animation work in China, which is called Qing Shi Ming Yue. Right. Yes. It's a very classic one. So, how, so here, because I've seen uh, different uh, either the animation script, uh, art design, so we are so they actually can engage in the design of the different characters. Right? Yes, we have these uh, we have these interaction uh, gadgets here. You, for for example, uh, this one would be better. Okay. So if you rotate this button, you can change the characters. Yes, and if you ro rotate this one, you can change the color. Of it, uh, you can change the color of the uh, and the style of this character, and you just need to. Oh, sorry. This is, uh, and you can also scan the QR code it, once you finish your character uh, creation, and you can download it into your phone. Mm -hmm. And here is uh, the creation of different uh, of the settings of in, in, in yes. the animation, right? Yes. Actually, you can see it's quite complicated. Yeah, it's very complicated. Yes, and we can move this one, and this is the final stage of the design and if you we move it here it is a very original this is, one this, yeah this is the draft yes and then we add different elements so it consists of several stages yes. you need team works to complete so, so that's why we need a lot of talents to nurture a lot of talents you know so for nowadays the the animation production is no longer just about creation. Yes. After you create the, the the wonderful idea, the wonderful script, you still need a lot of people to actually, you know, to paint this, to do the uh, uh, after effects. Yes. Yeah. If you are an if you are an animator, you need a lot of those, a lot of colleagues and talents mm -hmm. to cooperate yes. with you. Mm -hmm. And also, after you uh, you done with the image, you also need audio. You need sound to yes. make the film feel uh, more powerful. Yes, and this is the storyboard of animation. So the directors they need to lay, uh, they need to make make these people uh, make uh, their colleagues and the animators know what uh, scene and characters they need to draw. So they need this storyboard for them to act. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is action design. Yes. So they will invent actors. So uh, into uh, they invent actors to uh, collect their action data for the uh, models to is move. It, is this also an interactive? Ah uh, 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 yes. Gadgets. So yes. Okay. We can Let's have a we can stand here. Uh, it only it can only yes, one person. One person. One person. So, so now you are going to have we, a try. Now I still stand here, and uh, the camera recognizes me. Catches your motions. Yes. So if I put on my hand, it also put up the hand. So can you raise your hand again? Yes. Like this, and you can change the characters. Now, now it's a pretty girl here. And now you need to scan the QR code maybe to download your <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> download your image. Yes. So actually, animation creation is not just uh, a, a thing of uh, of graphics. It also needs voices. Yes. Need, it needs sounds. So here we have two rooms for two people. Two dubbing rooms, and they are yes. they are actually dubbed one of the movies. Yes, and it's also the clip from Qing Shi Ming Yue. Oh. Yes, and you can enjoy this uh, process of dubbing. It seems they are having quite some fun. Yes, I believe so. All right, let's uh, continue uh, to see. So th this section is about games. Yes. Right. Uh, this actually all these games are are the games of NetEase. Yes. So they we this in this section we have some brief introduction of the game creations, but you know game is a relatively more complicated works is it easy sometimes it is, is even compl more complicated than animation creation so here we can only uh, make some brief introductions of some part of the game development uh, for instance you need, we need to catch bug, bugs there are some errors when we play games so we have to we need to report these bugs these errors to the company and the programs will fix them Yes. yes, and it seems that it caught the attention of a lot of children. Everyone just loves games. Yes, they love these things. <laughs> yes.
process. In the next section, we're going to explore the animation in our lives. Yes, here we have a Lego uh, bricks. Lego model. Yes, model. Uh, it took us three days to, accom to accomplish well, this thing. That's a lot thing. of work. Yes, we tried to, uh, to build a, a dreaming land for, this, uh, for our animation fans. Yeah, so this is also, it's actually related to the animation industry. So it's yes. sort of like, a, uh, like, a, like affiliated, not, not affiliated <laughs> industry, but uh, it uh, definitely is uh, related to the, the yeah, for example, the yes. cartoon uh, the characters, uh, they are related to the uh, famous classic. Uh, yes. like, like, like the Mickey Mouse. So just like I said, the dreamland of our fans. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Oh, we also have a special room. Yes. So Custom. this in this room, we have a projector so that they, they can show the different uh, styles of the room for our fans. Yes. So how cartoon influences our lives. Yes. And here we have seen some uh, garage uh, kits, mm -hmm. which is also a related, another very important industry of the cartoon, yes. because the garage kits were called shoban. So uh, here we are standing in the section of interest and creations. Yes, you see now, many fans they're not just uh, consumers of the information; they're also the creators. Uh, at the same time, so many fans they were going to create or. Uh, to uh, things like models or something for their favorite uh, works or games. So here we, here is a studio. Many creators, uh, as the as the fans, they create they, when they create things, they may need these tools. Uh, exhibits here. Yes, this is our space for crea creators. We also. The fans. And also compa and compared to what they have a uh, hundred years ago, the conditions, they have actually have a better environment yes. to, cre uh, to create uh, all those brilliant works. Yes. And with, that... Yes. With the advancement of technology, actually, the people now, ordinary people, are also able to make a animations and draw comics now. And you can recall 100 years ago, those masters, they explore the technology, animation technology in such such hard way. It yeah. cost them a lifetime to do these masterpieces. But now we can just use our computers to create these marvelous works. Yeah, and uh, so this, uh, because this is a, actually a, just now you said, it's a studio nowadays, and yes. they have better environment, better conditions to, uh, to create uh, works but compared to what they had 100 years ago. So that made me think of, because now we have better technologies. Yes. And uh, uh, in recent years, we're also seeing some of the brilliant works like just now the 2015 uh, film, uh, Monkey King uh, yes. Hero is Back, and also in 2018 or 19, the Nerja, the birth of the demon child. So these yes. are some of the brilliant works after almost a decade of uh, development since 2004. So uh, for the entire Chinese, so a lot of people would like to see the Chinese animation to return to its glory once again, yes. but it takes time. And I talked to professor yesterday, uh, he believed that period, uh, it won't be long until we see that. And yes. because with the latest technology, we are we're also uh, catching uh, yes. very hard, you know, we are, we are also catching the latest technology and probably it's time to look back to the history, to, re, to reflect on uh, Te Wei, the first yes. president of the Shanghai Studios, uh, famous quotes uh, to explore the national path, you know, once again to look at, uh, to find inspirations from history, from Chinese culture, and maybe uh, the Chinese animation together with the latest technology will shine on the world stage once again as soon as possible. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, our viewers around the world, and thank you very much, Sun Zheng Hao, for joining us and taking us in this very deep and comprehensive tour of the museum. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And this is the end of our live streaming. Thank you very much. Bye for now.